On Tuesday, March 12th, the LA County Board of Supervisors will hold the second hearing on the Clean Water, Clean Beaches measure, which could have a significant impact on property owners in the Santa Clarita Valley. Here to talk with us about that is Travis Lang, who is the manager of the City of Santa Clarita's Environmental Services Division. Uh, Travis, it's coming up. This is the second hearing. Tell us what is being considered. Um, they're considering a fee, the County of Los Angeles, considering a fee on every single parcel within LA County. Okay, so talk, talk about the Clean Water, Clean Beaches Act and how it would affect property owners. Well, what the county is proposing to do is place a fee on every single parcel within LA County um, that would pay for water quality measures throughout the county. Okay, well this is something, because we already collect a very similar fee that really does the same thing. We're talking about uh, runoff and stormwater um, fees that, that go to services that we're already providing? Correct, and that's one of those um, concerns that the city has, is that we're already collecting a fee on the parcels within the city to do water quality type work. Okay, so uh, LA County is proposing this. The city council has formally um, filed a protest uh, against this for all city properties. What would be the economic impact? Let's talk about numbers a little bit um, for just city properties. It's over $460,000, and you are correct. The city council took action to put in a protest letter for the, all the parcels that the city owns. Um, the city cannot put in or make the decision, if you will, for all property owners within the city. That means businesses and homeowners. And that's why we're trying to get people educated about this, just to get um, knowledgeable about what it all means and to um, learn more about what the fee impact would be to their parcel so that they can make their own decision as to how they would like to react to it. And um, at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a website to get more information about that. And it's not, I think, to say that anybody's against, um, you know, cleaning up the river water supplies. Um, but we already have this fee, and we're already actively doing this and have been, have been doing this for years. And that hits the nail on the head. You're correct. We, we're all for water quality, and we've been ha putting in place programs for many years to protect the river and to protect um, what eventually ends up in the ocean. Um, it's really that we already have a fee in place, and so there are some other concerns that we have about the fee as well. So we're sort of being lumped in with just general L.A. County in, in terms of this right now? Yes, correct. It would be all the municipalities within LA County. And one of the things that we're not sure about is what the fee actually pays for. We know that it's supposed to go towards water quality, but there's not a list of projects as to what you could actually spend the money on. Okay, so taxpayers are already paying this um, locally for these services. Um, it just doesn't impact the city of Santa Clarita as, as an entity and the properties that we have, but this would also include um, other government entities, uh, schools, nonprofits, um, and businesses that have sort of a, a large footprint. Um, they could be paying quite a bit of money. Correct. Uh, it could be anywhere from $54 per um, a what they consider to be an average single family lot to thousands of dollars a year for an industrial complex. Okay, so for residents out there, um, there's more information, as you mentioned, uh, they can check the screen for a website to go to. This is LA, uh, LA County's website, by the way. Um, the city council filed an official protest. Um, if residents choose to do so, how would they do that? Um, they would go on that website, and there is a form that they can print out and mail to um, the address that's given on that website. They can also email, but they have to follow the directions. They have to sign the document and be able to fax it over or send it through that email. It's not as simple as just writing down that you protest the, um, the, the fee. You have to actually follow the steps that are required that are outlined in that county website. And we already have storm a stormwater division inside of environmental services. So, I mean, these are, these are uh, staff that go out and actively clean out our storm drains and do outreach and sort of these things. Correct. We go out and clean out storm drains, which is the um, things along the street that collect storm water to protect uh, properties from flooding and make sure that nothing goes in there that's not supposed to, meaning oil and, and um, paint and other and trash from making it into the river because we have to follow requirements of the federal and state government, Clean Water Act in particular, to make sure that the river is protected. So on March 12th, the LA County Board of Supervisors will hold this second hearing. Uh, what are the next steps? Um, on March 12th, if a majority of property owners in LA County, meaning 50% or more, don't protest this fee, then the Board of Supervisors is allowed to make a decision on whether or not to move forward with the vote of the people, which would mean um, we're not really exactly sure how that process would work, but normally that means a ballot would be sent out to every property owner in LA County, and then each one of those property owners would make a decision on whether or not they want to impose this fee. 
Travis, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're looking for more information, if you're a property owner in the city of Santa Clarita, uh, go to lacountycleanwaters.org.